hi guys so today we are going to be talking about amplitude experiments and uh, i will show you how to create an experiment in amplitude um, and and we'll go through uh, the whole process step by step so right now we are on the uh, main uh, home page for amplitude um, and i will now navigate to the experiment section in the experiment section um, you can see that we have the list of all uh, the experiments that uh, we have previously created and to create a new experiment we will click on the create experiment button over here we will select the feature experiment now uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, set up the experiment details and we'll start with the experiment name so i'll just create a sample experiment we don't need to change any of the other settings but uh, now what we'll do is we'll go through uh, the detailed setup of this sample experiment so now we are going to click on uh, the design experiment prompt um, and the first thing that we need to do is we need to define the goal of the experiment so whenever we are running any experiment or an ab test uh, we need to have a hypothesis and that hypothesis has to be linked uh, with a goal um, and usually what that goal um, defines is, is basically a metric that we want to move whether it's uh, the number of users who are performing a certain activity or maybe it's their engagement levels so um, and and the reason why we have this is so that we can objectively um, assess the performance of the experiment so what we'll do right now is we are going to select a metric uh, from a list of predefined metrics and, and over here um we have a metric called uniques of purchase tickets so this metric basically tracks the number of unique users who are purchasing tickets and uh, um, the type that we selected over here is uh, success uh, which is basically which basically means that we want this to increase if we wanted this to remain stable and not decrease then we would have selected guardrail um but now what we've done is we we want this uh, number to uh, in, increase so that that's why we selected the type of success and the direction that we want uh, this to go is basically up and uh, um, the goal that we have is uh, around two percent and th this is something that we can change so we can set this to five percent or uh, whatever uh, we want um, which which basically again is related to the hypothesis that we have when we were designing the experiment so one thing that we can do is if let's say we want to create a new metric we can always um, define a new metric within amplitude amplitude uses all the um, events that we have uh, already defined for our uh, product or platform and we can use those to define uh, any new metric so first of all uh, if we are you know defining a new metric what we need to do is we need to select the type of the metric whether it's going to be uh, measuring unique users whether it's going to be measuring the totals of events or uh, sum of uh, event property or uh, an average of an event property or is it going to measure retention or if it is something slightly more complicated then we can always have a formula and if we want to assess the conversion rate we can select uh, the funnel analysis conversion over here i'll uh, go with a simple option and i'll select event totals over here um, now what we need to do is we need to select the event for which we need to track the event totals so what we'll do is um, we'll select the view concert details event so this event basically tracks every time a user uh, views the concert details and now what we're do uh, doing is basically we are viewing the uh, total times uh, the concert details has been viewed so we're going to save and close this um, now we can see that we have um, two metrics that we are tracking uh, within uh, our experiment but only one uh, is a goal right because we cannot have two goals uh, for the experiment and amplitude only allows us to have uh, one goal uh, because that's um, how the result of the experiment will be judged um, it, it could happen that this metric grows by 5% while this does not um, and then you know we will uh, will not be sure what the result of the experiment is so we need to pick um, one of uh, uh, our metrics as a goal 
uh, we can add any uh, number of metrics that we want if we want to track uh, five metrics we can definitely do that we just need to add all of these over here and then the experiment will start tracking those so moving on to uh, the next step which is basically the exposure event um, over here we don't really need to do a lot uh, amplitude recommends that we use the default exposure event and that's what we are going to do um, and then the next step is going to be uh, adding the variance so by default we have two uh, variants so the first one is the control uh, group basically this is the original experience that the users will see and then we have a treatment group generally it is recommended that we have um, at a time we only run one treatment uh, group but let's say we have multiple options we, we can always add them over here so it's it's fairly simple i'll just add uh, treatment two uh, over here and then if let's say we want to add another then we can add treatment three um, so now our experiment basically has four variants uh, next we will move on to targeting so in targeting we have a couple of uh, options that we can select the first one is uh, the audience options who do we want to target this experiment to um, if we want everyone to be a part of this experiment then we select all users if we want a specific segment of users to be a part of this experiment then we select targeted users so when we select targeted users amplitude gives us uh, several options to uh, target users there are um, the first option that we can use is basically user properties and then uh, the second option is a cohort so in amplitude you can create cohorts of users using multiple uh, different criteria and you can add that cohort over here um, for today uh, we can um, indefinitely um, use uh, um, a cohort and um, this is basically uh, users who have not completed the purchase ticket event these are the users that we want to be part of the experiment we can select these users um, and now these are the users that we are going to be um, targeting uh, the experiment to the next step that we need to uh, complete in the targeting settings is the distribution so uh, again the best practice or the recommended best practice is that we have even distribution of uh, all the four variants uh, but if for some reason we want to customize them we can always do so so over here if let's say we click on customize and then we want uh, the treatment group to be at 30 percent and uh, we want treatment to group to be at 20 percent we can definitely do those this is just for illustration purposes um, generally again in the the recommendation is that we have the, these evenly distributed and then the last uh, setting that we can control over here is the rollout so uh, in the previous step we um, uh, uh, set up the distribution between uh, the variants now we are going to uh, control the rollout of the experiment in the um, in our selected audience so for example if we want to just target 10 percent of our audience uh, then we can select this option if if we want to target everyone then we can select 100 percent um, finally we have the analysis settings and uh, we don't really need to uh, do a lot over here um, this this setting is perfectly okay uh, and then we'll uh, close the uh, settings menu so now uh, you can see that we have everything set up uh, within our amplitude experiment so we can see that the audience is already defined over here we have our variants defined and the rollout um, and uh, 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 the goals that we have set up for the experiment are also uh, defined over here now there's one more step uh, before we actually um, start the experiment is uh, we can add um, test users to this experiment so if we go to the tester section we can see that we have um, these uh, four variants over here we can add the amplitude user id of uh, test users that we want to be part of control treatment treatment two or treatment three groups so when these users um, uh, uh, try to access the experience of the experiment on the production environment they would definitely start seeing uh, these specific variants instead of the control variant so yeah uh, this was a, a very quick overview of uh, how to set up an experiment uh, within amplitude